Seeing absolute devastation, it's utterly heartbreaking really. I've just driven down through Bell's line of road today, which crosses the heart of the World Heritage Area and there's just fire, fire ground everywhere you can see, just black charred stumps. Um, there's a couple of patches of canopy left, but the understory is all gone. About 80% of the World Heritage Area, it looks like it's burnt now. There's not much left. Right now we're in emergency response mode. So we're trying to get water and food out to these animals. The habitat's gone, they don't have anything to eat. The dehydration is a major problem. So right now we're urgently trying to get water stations out into as many areas as we can and also doing food drops so that the animals that have survived, we can keep them alive by putting as much help out there as we can. One of the challenges we've faced in the Blue Mountains area is they're really difficult habitats to survey for koalas. So the trees can be really big, the canopy can be really dense and you just can't see them by looking. So in some areas you can just do a visual transect, walk along, look up and count koalas. You can't do that in this area. So we've trialled a lot of different survey methods and the most effective by far is using detection dogs. Oh, show his match. The dog will help us find the scats. If we find fresh scat, we can then start focusing on the canopy and doing an intense search and hopefully locate the koala as well. Um, but certainly in these areas, it's too difficult. We can take, if we do a transect using people looking for scats, it'll take three people an hour or so. A dog will do double that area in five minutes and find more scats. So they're incredibly useful out here. Well done, Spud. There are some signs of hope. So where we rescued the koalas from Kanangra National Park, there's a little patch to the north where we're hoping to put them back. So normally you hope with a fire that there's some refuge areas left, that the fire will skip a gully or leave a patch unburnt and that's where animals can recolonise from. We have been worried about the scale and intensity of these fires, that there's not going to be nearly enough of those and that's something we have to assess because normally you'll get maybe one national park, possibly two burning, but not all of them at once like we've seen. We've seen the whole World Heritage Area covered. So one of the urgent things we need to do is get in there and find out what's left.